Just when I thought we were going to get a resolution slash slow build up into the third season, this one's called Rakia Armies Advance. Whose armies advancing? What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi, season two, episode 11. Last episode, we had the ending of the Ishtar Familia. It was crazy. I don't know what happened to some of the specific characters like Aisha, Lena, Samira, all them, but I do know what happened to Phryne and Ishtar. Ishtar went back to heaven. Phryne went to heaven for the first time. <laughs> but I am excited to find out where this season ends and where season three begins. It's crazy. They just announced a couple of days ago season four in 2022. So next year. So we'll be caught up by then and that'll be amazing. I'm surprised at how far the show is going and I'm loving it. I'm here for every bit of it. So without, without further ado, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, check out that Patreon down below. We are four episodes ahead over there. If you guys are not subscribed currently, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell button so you guys always know when I post and then follow me on all my social medias, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Let's hop into this. Don Machi, season two, episode 11, Rakia, Armies Advance. <laughs> Got it. Got it. The Ares family, huh? Wow. Oh, there. Wow, I was wondering about those two. I'm pretty sure that's Lena and Samira, right? Well, this is a nice little wrap up with the the remainder of the Ishtar Familia. I always like the, you know. Way, way to keep her innocence. Jesus. True. No point in telling him now. That's just crazy. Okay, that's just crazy to me. She would pass out every time she would see a man. I mean, she did that with Belle, but I'm just like... Mm -hmm. Are you now, Hermes? Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. The Behemoth Leviathan. Oh, really? So, what's the last one? Sinhara, which we know. Which. Some people have told me, because I was wondering if uh, the Sword of Oratoria was going to get a second season. A lot of people told me most likely not due to its poor reception amongst the audience, mainly because they told me Lefia, I don't know if she was a created character specifically for the show, but she, people were telling me that Eyes, the perspective, like perspective of Sword of Oratoria was from Eyes. She was the main character versus Lefia. And so with that being said... Eyes when she went down to floor 60 or 50 or whatever it was at the end of Oratoria. The only other familias who had ever gotten that far were the Zeus and Hera familia, right? I love the lore being entangled in. And they were wiped out. One-eyed dragon. A body of purest black, wings like the night sky. So, two of the three are done, and that's... And is that the ultimate hero Bell's gonna be? That's quite the goal if it is, that's crazy. Monstrously strong. I agree. Let's go home. Oh, 
Ooh, Haruhime being a, I don't want to say a maid, I don't like that term, but being a helper or an assistant here at the house. <laughs> you make the rules. There's no way she's serious about making this a rule. That's true. That's true. If we're gonna have rules, you have to you have to obey by them. Hey, you're the one making the rules. And what do you think of the concept of loving your deity, Bell? You like that idea? You, does that sound good to you? <laughs> Just hypothetically, if a wonderful goddess were to someday tell you she loved you, I don't know who that might be, but what, what would you say? What? what? It's so, it's so unironically funny how out of the loop and how oblivious Belle is when it comes to women. Like the biggest thing, and not the biggest thing in the show, obviously, but it's like he literally has a harem of not only amazing adventurers, amazing supporters, women all around. But he literally has three. One of them was kind of petty just because another one wanted, but literally three. I don't know if, if Hestia technically fits in the most beautiful god, but three of the most beautiful goddesses, three of the most beautiful species. I don't want to say species. Three of the most beautiful creatures on this earth are after him, and he literally has no idea. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. I get mad. <laughs> I want to be mad. <laughs> He's like a little too far with what? Bro. A good point. Alright, let's go have a talk with Hestia. No, I, really, I don't think he does. But I think maybe he's getting there. A god Knowing the way the story is going to turn out, it's going to be Hestia. And when it is Hestia, Bell's going to whoop some ass. Some double A, Aries ass. You know what? Yes, if there's anyone to talk about what's going on, it would probably be Hephaestus and Miyak, you know, talking about interrelationships between mortals and deities. Let's talk about this. That's very honest to real world. And like I always try to say, I don't know too much about mythology, whether it be Japanese, Greek, Roman, Norse, you know, any type of mythologies. I, I know, I would say a very brief amount, except for J Japanese, I know nothing about. But I do know, from what I do know, that in Greek mythology, at least, Zeus, a lot of the main titans and a lot of the main gods, deities, would constantly go down and constantly be making demigods with these humans and constantly just be having sex left right and center 
That's all I know. So that's why I would assume yes. But I'm glad we're having this conversation. It's easier. Motherly love, fatherly love. True. True. I understand why he would say that, for sure. And yeah, what is it he's afraid of, though? It does seem like that. そなたたちにとっては生涯と言えるほどの時間でもな。もし神から求愛されたらちゃんと向き合ってあげて。きっと神の多くはそれだけで納得してくれるであろう。だから。What she does. Accept it or deny it, but don't fear it. I like that. Let's stop. Stop beating around the bush. I mean, he definitely did kidnap a deity. He's not lying. And <laughs> Ganesha's not even looking. Oh, where'd, where'd Hestia go? <laughs> Ooh, eyes. <laughs> Don't tell him what's going on. Just say you come too. Yep. So she told him on the way. That's true. Hell yeah. Eyes and Bell going to save Hestia? Ooh. This is gonna be a very lovely conflict. Hmm. And I say that. Because it has to do with Bell's love for eyes and then love for Hestia. So it's gonna come to a head. Oh. Asfi, it's been a long time. I missed you, girl. Of course, Hermes is helping out, but of course, it's to keep Bell on his track of being this amazing hero, you know? It's for his own needs. My god, Stitch. Oh, Eyes by herself, the Sword Princess, is taking all you guys out. <laughs> she still calls her wall and what's it? She's literally saving your life. <laughs> Bell's just sneak. How did none of them notice him? That's hilarious. Oh my god, Hestia. And now we're falling into this ginormous cavern. And Eyes is coming too. Bell's not gonna let Eyes fall, or Bell's not gonna let Hestia fall, and Eyes isn't gonna let Bell fall, so. Well, I think that was a good setup episode, mainly for this finale, which is going to be touching on the relationships between gods and mortals, obviously. This one's called Song of, the next one's called Song of Love, Goddess, and Child, and it's interesting to me that it's not necessarily due to the fact that he doesn't like Hestia or think she's an amazing girl. It's just for the fact that he feels like it is a professional environment. Like she was saying earlier, she's technically his deity, his goddess, and he must respect her formally. Like she doesn't want, she wants it to go to that next level, but he is saying, no, I must respect you. I must treat you like this, this, this ultimate being. And whereas, you know, it's like, it's a, it is a it's a, it is a moral dilemma when you think about it because in, in the gods' eyes the love is only for a brief moment you know a hundred years however long you may live as an adventurer is, is you know probably a lot shorter as an adventurer you're probably gonna die in the dungeons or, but they live in an infinite amount of time so for them obviously it is like a blink of an eye but whether it's fatherly motherly you know just love friend friendly love or just normal ordinary love it does happen you know and so it makes sense because they tried to give up their divine powers to live down here with the people so you know it, it makes sense that would happen wealth ended up with Hephaestus would be woo Hephaestus is my babe I, th I still think personally I do think Aisha is the hottest girl in this show but oh my oh my lordy does this show have a plethora of waifus um, 
I wrote down Rakia, the kingdom, obviously a different kingdom besides Arario. Ares is one of a big, one of the big gods there. I do know Ares is the god of war. <laughs> I know that from normal mythology, and I know that from God of War, how Ares was uh, the one of the major ones responsible for what happened with Kratos and all that. Um, but Zeus and Hera, I love talking about Bell's grandfather and how they were some of the OGs and. Zeus is definitely still alive, so I'm definitely curious. Someone told me in the comments about a little story that happened in the, the light novels, I'm pretty sure, but explains how Hermes specifically came to watch over Bell. Um, no spoilers, obviously, because I don't, I don't like it when I get spoiled, but I think they said Zeus was just reading the newspaper over like the fire or something, where he drinking his coffee, and he saw the news that Bell had broke the record for getting level two as quickly as possible so he sent hermes to go watch him you know like all that because he don't i think they, they commented that he doesn't zeus doesn't recall bell being extraordinarily talented at any so he's like also equally shocked so it's just like that's crazy that's just a little nice little tidbit that they added so i appreciate that anyone who comments little stuff like that but this episode was good i'm excited to find out where it goes this finale is going to be very interesting hopefully you guys enjoyed as well if you guys want early access full length to this all the other shows i'm watching that patreon is always available to you guys don't forget to leave a like if you guys enjoyed let me know your thoughts down below like always i appreciate you dapper squad have a great day peace out you guys